seconds delay there. Uh, while we're just waiting for those of you that were waiting and watching in the live chat, some of you um, uh, get hit with an advert and it's about 15, 30 seconds long, I believe. Oh, okay, well, Vanna's, Vanna's phone hasn't even caught up yet. But anyway, so a little bit of chit chat, waffle, waffle. Hi, friends. Welcome to the joy of pouring with me, your host, Cy Frost. Now, I am part, or this is part, my, uh, uh, the, the show is part of a Sunday premiere crazy train uh, where we have um, uh, uh, many new premieres from our friends. Art, from, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting everything confused and gabbled now, so hang on. A nice breath and let's get on with it a bit better. Okay, so hi friends. I'm part of the Sunday uh, Acrylic Crazy Train of Premieres. After this, we are going to, and this is a great way to do the introductions for those that are moderators in the live chat and those that have the, uh, the premieres today as well. After myself, it is Nathan from The Fine Art of Distraction. Hi there, Nathan. After Nathan is my brother from another mother, Wombat from Venom Fluid Art. Hello there, Wombat. And then after Wombat, it's my dear number one fan. I love her always. It's Christy and her premiere, Creations by Christy. And then after that, it is lovely Shan B from Shan B Fluid Design. I'm pretty sure I got that right. I'm sorry, Shan. My head's not quite in the game yet, but hopefully it will be. Uh, and then the caboose today is the Hippy Dippy Painter Man. Hi there, Tony, as well. Uh, and now let's give a special shout out to B. Hopefully she might be in the live chat. Poor darling had COVID. I believe it was COVID, I think, and ended up in the hospital. She was so, so badly poorly. So she's at home now for anyone that didn't know. And she's well, but she's just recuperating because it has just knocked the absolute six out of her. As those that have caught it, as I have, will know it really does knock you for six. So anyway big shout out to B. Hope you're feeling better and we'd love to see you uh, back in the group and in the live chats, darling. Let's also give some big shouts out to my darling Vanna, my, my swipe assistant, Vanna Swipe, and not forgetting uh, Sheldon from Sheldon Briscoe Art and also uh, Brit from Brit Clayton Art, which brings us nicely to our group on Facebook, The Acrylic Crazy Train. If you haven't joined it, please search it out on Facebook the acrylic crazy train it's a safe space for new and beginning fluid artists to share their work without fear of uh, being ridiculed for their beginners efforts and things like that and and you're only going to find constructive helpful comments from uh, myself and the other admins and the moderators of the group so yes please search us out on facebook the acrylic crazy train uh, so we've done the uh, sunday train already i'm getting really good at these intros um and the last little thing i've got to look at is yes please guys if you haven't subscribed please subscribe because when you subscribe you can hit the thumbs up button and you can like this video you can give us comments and feedback on my videos things like that but um more importantly it helps us uh, the like button is really important because the more likes a video gets the more likely youtube are to suggest it to other people that haven't seen it yet. So please, yes, please subscribe, my friends. When you also subscribe, you can participate in the live chat, what's going on right now, and it takes us to the live chat and super stickers and super chats. Now, in the corner where you type your message in for the live chat, there'll be a little dollar sign. If you click on that, it will take you to a screen. It will show you little stickers of different denominations that you can write little messages in. Uh, and it's a way of supporting me, supporting the channel, supporting Vanna, supporting the group, because you know ultimately, if I can uh, make Make more money doing this way I can spend more time helping people in the group which is always a great thing and making art which is great therapy so I think that's it I think that really is it apart from the intro and the theme which is how to bloom on a budget and how to use dollar store paints as cell activators now just as I said that Vanna went <gasps> did you have something to say did I miss something ah Thank you, Vanna. Yes, a big, huge shout out to Devil Bean, who is really poorly, unfortunately. That's um, Devra, yes. uh, part of the group. She's got the COVID. She's got the COVID. Oh, sweetheart. And she are you in the? Are you in the group? Are you in the live chat? She was supposed to start chemo this weekend, and they had to postpone her. She's not doing well. Oh, my sweetheart. I'm really sorry to hear that. That's awful news. But everybody that's watching, let's wish Devil Bean and Devra, who is in the live chat, let's wish her all of the love and send some healing love and energy to her for her because 
Um, sounds like she needs it. And let's do another big shout out to anybody else that is under the weather or suffering from an ongoing ailment or condition that's made worse because in the Northern Hemisphere we've got into the winter now. But uh, for any reason, anybody that's poorly and suffering with things, big shout out to you guys. Uh, and a big love and good energy sent out to you. And thank you for watching the show. Bless your heart, devil being, being that sick and still in the live chat. You really are an utter trooper. Um, I hope you make through this really, really well with uh, flying colors, let's hope. Anyway, now I've been chit-chatting, waffling. You know, I need a drink. So, chitty chat, chitty chat, chitty chat, chat. Uh, the other way you can support me is go to my Facebook page and you can follow me on Facebook and it's Frosty Eye Candy. Uh, as it's said in the channel here and everything, um, I really greatly appreciate your support. Um, liking my page on Facebook because again, in a similar way as YouTube, more people like my page and the more my page is likely to be suggested to other people that aren't part of the group or that follow me. Anyway, there we go. I think that's it. Oh, yes, you can also go to my Facebook store. Uh, it looks like I can update it. I tried to update it the other day on the phone and it was working, not just immediately telling me, go and buy a computer, you need to do it from a laptop. So please visit my Facebook store. That link will be in the descriptions of this live. And all the links for the different stations we're going to for the Crazy Train premiere uh, are in the descriptions of uh, the video. I managed to get them, Christy got them to me and I could copy and paste them, put them in. So again, in the descriptions of this live, you can click on the following links and make your way all the way down the train, not missing any stops. That is it now, I think. Oh, Janet, bless your heart. Lambine, thank you so much, sweetheart. That was an example of a super sticker that um, Jam, uh, it's not Jambi, um, Lambine, sorry, Lambine, uh, just sent us a super sticker. So thank you so much, Lambine. That's so kind of you. Thank you. And a big shout out to everybody in the live chat, everyone I might have missed. So that is it. And we're seven minutes in. Oh, okay, okay, so. You know, usual, back up to the usual waffling time. So let, <laughs> let's get rid of the notes just here and let's do a quick show and tell of last week's pieces. So here you go, there's the, um, there's the nice, uh, uh, this was the cinnamon and caramel and something or other on the purple pillow swipe with the um, uh, permanent red uh, pink there, cell activator and then the... Um, Russian blue on the other side. There you go. But there's the dried results. Dry quite nicely. But here we go. Here's the results of the swipe. There we go. But look what happened. Ah, big cracks and everything. Just really wasn't happy. Didn't really dry too nicely here, as you can see. And we've got these huge big cracks. So there you go, guys. I don't only produce beautiful things. <laughs> Sometimes they do go to pot just like yours. Mew has just come in from the front. Do you want to shut the front door, Banner? Just because he's probably pushed it open. Meow. Yes. Hi, buddy. And it's quite cold outside with the snow. So why did this happen? And if this is happening to you guys, uh, someone at home watching or watching the video back, why is this happening? It is because right here, our paint was too thick on top of our pillow paint with the cover, uh, with the colors. And as you noticed, we didn't get any here, really. And we didn't get much here. And the reason for that is, as I told you, when you do a canvas which is much uh, more rectangle than square or round, centrifugal force will dictate the paint at the edges here comes off faster. And as we know from last week's show, it went over me and the floor, but luckily I had a dust sheet now. Um, but yes, that's what happened. And the paint in the middle didn't move very much. Not a lot of it came over this edge. Not a lot came over that edge, really. And it was too thick here. And when it dried, the top layer dries faster than the layers below and it cracks. So something you can do is fill in these with gold paint or something like that if you want to use it. Or as I'm gonna do is just <laughs> either throw it away or pour straight over it. Vanna's just laughing. Yeah. Oh, joyous bean. Thank you, darling. Georgia, and that's so kind of you. Thank you, sweetheart. Kay says she calls the crack special effects. <laughs> Kay, special effects. Yes, exactly. Check out these special effects, peeps. Woo, yeah, they look like craters and canyons. <laughs> anyway. So that's the show and tell from last week. And let's just quickly do the show and tell for the video that's coming out next Wednesday. There we go, guys. Lots of people are calling this a, um, a dragon or a snake. I'm really seeing, uh, really seeing the dragon in it, to be honest. 
But uh, another show, and this is coming out, uh, how to do this um, is next Wednesday's uh, free lesson Wednesday. And I've got this one here, which is the following Wednesday's free lesson. And check out this Viper that we've got there. I mean, he's just incredible. And uh, let's see if I can, ooh, there's the light. Trying to get the, this is pompous right here. Trying to get pompous, ah, oh, there we go. You saw that flash, there you go. This is pompous and you see as it changes color to dark to light. Oh, no, I missed it. There we go. Bingo. But this is coming out in a couple of weeks. The Viper Swipe, I'm going to call it, because this is definitely a snake, isn't it, right here? Anyway, that's the show and tell done over with, my friends. And I need another drink of water, I'm sorry. It's so dry. Mm -hmm. It's so dry up here with all the snow, just sucking all the moisture out the air. My fingers are splitting and cracking, which is not a nice thing to actually have to happen to you. But anyway, I digress. How to use uh, house paints as cell activators and bloom on a budget. We are gonna be using our dollar store paints. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. So if you've got these and you're gonna be painting along at home, this is great. Um, it doesn't matter really what colors you've got because we're just gonna mix up whatever we have. I don't have a lot of the dollar store paints left, but the, um, house paint that we're using to do uh, the cell activator and the swipes is the Glidden Premium in white satin. And the other house paint we're going to be using is the Color to Go uh, from Sherwin Williams. And the uh, Premium white satin is from Home Depot. I prefer the Premium over the Essentials because the Essentials, when I've bought them before in the past, they've been full of bubbles and it has been so difficult to get rid of them. I find that the white satin tends to have no bubbles at all, and uh, is a really great pillow for you to use. Okie dokie, and we're also gonna be using the Flood Flow Troll. Mm, dear me, sorry I've drank too much water now. <laughs> anyway, whiffle waffle 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 chitty chat chat. Uh, here is the, um, here is the uh, dried results from my test about how to bloom on a budget. We've got this lovely little purple bloom here, and I was just using the purple and the light blue, so. These two, there we go, the majestic purple and uh, sky blue, there we go. Ding, 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 ding. That's what I was using in these two. But I decided to up the ante a little bit and uh, throw a few more colors in and we're gonna do another bloom over this and see how it works. We're also gonna do a swipe with the different um, cell activators. Okay, so well, let's get the camera pointing down. I'm just gonna tell you, if you're mixing up your colors and your flow troll, we are mixing two to one but the other way around. So we're having more paint than flow troll because we want these paints for a bloom or swipe to be a bit thicker than we wanted them for all of the other times, basically. I've been using the dollar store paints. Yes, little scratching, little so-and-so. <laughs> ah, the joys of owning a feline cat, right? He always, well, wants, to be part of the show. He always wants to be part of the show. Uh, we're using an ounce of the color and then half ounce of the flood flow troll. Okay, friends. Um, and I'm also going to mix up, I tried uh, this technique. Uh, well, I'm gonna mix it up when we make the uh, when we make the other cell activators. Let's get the camera pointing down. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. There we go, lovely. And we're going to start making some art. Right, so let's just make the cell activators first, okay? And I say make the cell activators. All I'm gonna do is just get a little bit of the, uh, um, and this one, uh, color to go, this is tricorn black. We're just gonna get a little bit of paint out and what I have found, or what I, um, the white Glidden Premium works really well uh, just on its own out of the can. But if you are using some that has been thickened up a little bit from, um, there we go, perfect. Perfect. Oh, okay. Oh dear, no, messed that up. <laughs> right, thank you, Vanna. It had some paint in it somehow, I really don't know how. But anyway. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of, as I said, a little bit of the uh, color to go here, out and into the little two ounce cup, just because it's a lot easier to work with. 
I've been trying to fish out some of this out of these quart pots. So there's the black. Let's just put it on its side so we can use it. And let's just put a few of these things away. Oops. Right, okay, now here's the Glidden Premium. And let me show you, uh, if I can show you. Da -da 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 -da. Thank you, darling. Here you go, that's perfect. See if I can show you the consistency of it. You see, let's drill, drizzle it in the light over here. It hardly holds up at all. It just basically leaves a trace for a millisecond and then it's gone. So that's gonna be pretty good as it is. But as I just mentioned, I do have some of the paint that I thickened up by leaving the top off the little quart pot for a while and just stirring it every couple of hours. And when I tried that in my tests this week, it really uh, didn't work as well as the fresh, possibly slightly thinner stuff from the can. So that's why we're using it from the can. And let's just put the can down there. Oh, I think the can wants to come out now, Vanna. Okay, just a second. You can open the door. Anyway, so there we go, guys. That's our black and that's our white. Now, another thing I wanted to try, um, for you guys at home that bloom, uh, that have some of the uh, acrylic, um, standard acrylic colors from Amsterdam. I remember, and I'm pretty sure it was Wombat. Oh no! <sighs> Did you break it? No. Would we put it back where it should be, please? Sorry, guys. That's all right. Yeah, Vanna just tripped over the wire. She's got to let the cat out now after shutting him in because he was making so much noise in his litter box. Live good. for you to hear. <laughs> so back to what I was saying. The uh, standard acrylic. Now, I'm pretty sure uh, it was Wombat that um, uh, I learned this from. Now, if I'm giving props to the wrong person, I'm really sorry. But I'm pretty sure it was Wombat that um, in one of his videos, he just used this and water mixed together. So we're also going to do that, okay, guys? Uh, and as I remember, it worked pretty well. And as you can see, it worked pretty well there because one side is the Amsterdam and the other side is the um, Colour to Go Tricorn Black. So there we go. So let's make a little bit of this up as well so you can kind of see how to, uh, you, see, you know, how to, how to mix it up. And you can uh, make some cell activator if you run out of the Aussie Gold or you've run out of the uh, US Floetrol, if that's what you use. Right now, so I put a little tiny bit of water in the end, in the bottom, that much, if you can see. There you go, da da da, hardly anything. Now I'm gonna put it in at least there you go. That's how much I've just put in there. Da, 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 da. So not a lot indeed. We want it to be thin. Because again, we always really would like our cell activators to be the thinnest part of the bloom or the swipe. Um, but as we know, you know, that isn't necessarily always the case because we were under the impression that the pillow had to be thicker than the colours, then the CA. And as we know from using the Glidden Premium White Satin and the Colour to Go Tricorn Black, it's thinner than our colours. But when you spin it out, and as long as you spin out enough uh, paint, it works really well. So there we go. Let's just get in a little bit closer, friends. Let's get cosy. I'm um, just mixing this up. That's a little bit thick, so we're just going to, uh, sorry, a little bit thin. So we're going to put another little bloop in, bloop. There we go. Let's see if that helps it thicken up just a little more, because it was rather like water. I may have put, been a bit generous with the water in the first place. Because again, you know, we're um, blooming on a budget here, but what we're actually trying to do is emulate the consistencies of our blooms, uh, the, uh, the components of our blooms, uh, the colors primarily, uh, and then the cell activators. Right, there you go, it's a little bit better, but it's still a bit thin, uh, I think. So I'm just gonna put another little bit in. Ooh, I'm getting it all over myself already. Christy would love this. So, da, 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 just stirring, stirring, stirring. Uh, 
There we go, yes. That's a little bit better. Excellent. So you want it to just drizzle off the stick. We're emulating the uh, consistencies of the components of a bloom, but we're emulating them with uh, dollar store paint and just US flow troll. So let's get these colors mixed up, friends. Now, like I said, I'm gonna use the uh, purple and the blue, uh, the purple and the light blue. I'm gonna throw in some of the pumpkin and some of the cobalt, uh, but it doesn't feel like there's a lot in there. And I'm just gonna use what's left to top it up. Uh, if there isn't enough. So it's always best to add the paint to the flow troll. You add the thicker component to the thinner component. So let's put in half an ounce. Half an ounce will be halfway, ding, ding, on that little line from the bottom to the first ring, ping, just there. So half an ounce. And we're gonna squeeze in an ounce of, there we go, friends, ding, ding. We're gonna squeeze an ounce of uh, paint into this. So it's two to one, but it's two to one paint to flow troll. There we go, hang on, that needs just a little bit more of a drip. But not a lot, there we go, excellent. Now this is actually the flow troll that was uh, left, I left here after doing, taking the flow troll and the paints to Mexico and doing the show from there when we were there in October visiting Vanna's dad. And uh, didn't have enough room coming back in my <laughs> luggage. So left all the paints there. <laughs> uh, I don't know if maybe his grandson might go and visit him. That might be nice, but um, hang on. There's just a little too much in there, as you can see, guys, because we want, again, we want, we want to try and emulate the consistencies that we would get if we're using our bloom recipes, whichever you actually prefer, but mine would be the uh, Bear 8300 and the Joe Sonia Gloss Varnish. So let's see if we can get an ounce out of this purple. If we can't, Oh, yeah, no way, not an ounce at all. Because now we want to fill it to halfway in between the top and the middle line, okay, guys? Now, that isn't happening at all. Let's really give it some flick. No, nope, that one's dead. Top it up with, with I'll tell you what I'm going to top it up with. I'm going to top it up with this uh, navy blue. There we go, guys, okay? Bingo, there we go, perfect. So let's just, <laughs> that little monkey. Now, of course, the cat wants up on the table. Yeah. I want treats now. I want treats now, humans. I was a good cat. I came in. So there you go, guys. There's an ounce and a half. Give it a good stir. It's lucky because it doesn't need much more than that. There we go. Now let's see if I can get the camera to pick this up. It kind of emulates the pouring medium of the Bear 8300 and Joe Sonny. You can see it pours, leaves a little trace, and then disappears. Let's do the next one with the sky blue. Now, I really don't think there's enough in here. So let's use that one here, I think. Perfect, the perfect amount, that's rad. <laughs> Excellent. Now let's just stir this up. Stir, 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 stir. Da, da, da. And this is the great thing about stirring these little paints with this much Floetrol, because uh, Floetrol has really great anti-foaming agents in it. We don't get any bubbles, if you've ever noticed. But there you go, there's the paint. You see how it sits up just for a second? So it's kind of mimicking the kind of mimicking the pouring medium like I've already mentioned. So there's the sky blue. Oh, that's great. Now oh, the orange feels like okay. I'm going to see what I can get out of the orange, and then fill it with yellow. Yeah. Yep, that's that one done. Nice. We're using up all of our paints. This is great. Now we are gonna need a bit of yellow in there because I can see it's nowhere near. So all that's gonna happen by putting some yellow in too, it's just gonna, here we go, make the color, oh, this fabulous, lovely light orange color. There we go, mango. Purse nobody, you gotta stay there. 
He's kind of looking at how he can walk across the... <laughs> <laughs> He's really desperate to get in on the show. Yeah. Anyway, here we go, guys. Check out the consistency. Very much like the other paints, nice and thick, leaving a trace just for a little while and then sinking back in. Bring bingo. So that's the orange done. Sorry, guys, need a drink. Yes. And another shout out to all you lovelies that are at home painting along with us. This is the cobalt blue. Ooh, feels like we might. No. Well, let's check out the consistency of that. I don't think I've got another one. No, I don't. So let's see how this one mixes up. Yeah, this is uh, going to be much, much thinner, of course, because, oh, no. I thought this was going to be much thinner because of the amount of the paint we put in, but actually, I think we might get away with that. Let's just have a look at the orange again. Oops, there you go. Excuse me if you just heard my stomach rumble. I have eaten before, we ate lunch. I think we might be able to get away with that one. We will see, won't we? And the last color, we're gonna use this lovely, uh, what is this, holiday red, or shall we go for this much better Tuscan red? The Tuscan red is more vivid, I feel. Mm. Yes, let's use this Tuscan red instead. Okay guys, so again, another ounce, halfway, in between the lines. There we go. Now, I did notice this one just was a little bit under on the half ounce of flow troll. So let's just give it a good stir. Da -da 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 -da. And it's done. Yeah, this is a little bit too thick. So we need just to put a little bit more flow troll in, just a little few drops of it, almost. Bingo. There you go. And let's see how this loosens things up a bit. Beautiful, there we go. Okay, friends, still a little bit thick, actually. Let's just put another little bit in there. So we're going very primary, really, with the red, the blue, and the kind of orange. The light blue and then the purple, the perps. We always love the perps, don't we, guys? It's uh, many people's favorite color, but not everybody's cup of tea. There you go, guys. That's a better trace. Better consistency. Bing, bing, bing. Excellent. So there's our colours. And what I thought we would do is... Um, I've got another couple of old canvases here. Uh, and uh, we're going to do maybe a bloom on one or a swipe on the other. Or vice versa, something like that. Oops, just knocking things over there. Well, let's see if we've got any more of that blue out, leaving it upside down. No. Not really, but just give it a little stir. I'm pretty sure that's going to be great. So here's the cell activator. So we've got our, um, our uh, Glidden Premium in white satin. We have got the uh, Amsterdam, and, uh, Amsterdam paint and water. That's just one we're going to try. And then we've got the, um, the black, the tricorn black from Sherwin-Williams as a cell activator. Now, only apart from the, um, apart from the, uh, the Amsterdam that we saw me add some water to, these are straight out of the pot, as you've just seen me do. I haven't done anything to either of those. I did try adding some water to the uh, to the Glidden, and it really didn't like it at all whatsoever. So, you know, the reaction time is gonna be a little bit longer, but, you know, as I said, look, that's not bad for dollar store paints and US low troll with some uh, Glidden house paint. And as I said, these one, one, is the, one is the tricorn black, and the other one is the Amsterdam lamp black with water. So stop waffling, let's get on with this. So here you go, let's put a pillow down. And as you can see, it dried absolutely beautiful and flat. I expected it to um, take a bit longer to dry, but because we've got so much flow troll in these colors, it really uh, evens out the um, consistency and really helps it to dry slower, but um, really beautifully with um, great, oh, 
with nice results, as you can see there. But I'm going to do this live for you. And I'm glad I've got this example before we paint over it because it's kind of like, yes, you know, <laughs> I did do it. <laughs> it did happen. Here's the proof. Right. So let's get some colours down. Let's just get these ones all out of the way. There we go. Lovely. Because we are going to want to spin this if we're going to do a bloom on it. And we will do a swipe on the other one. Okay, guys? So let us just put the cap on this. Da, da, da. Move these over a little bit because we want our spinner. Well, let's just do it regular and then I'll get the spinner out. Okay, guys? So thank you, Vanna. So. Let's put some pillow down, my friends. And let's get nice and close in there. There we go. Ding, ding. Oh, he's such a little pain in the butt. Hi, Bubba, no. Yes, I know. The spinner's on your seat and the table. It's just terrible, isn't it? Terrible in position from the start. I want to sit on that spinner. <laughs> I want to sit on that spinner. <laughs> So here we go, guys. Just putting a pillow down. He's Vanner is he's desperate to be on the show in the camera shot. Vanner is holding him back. Yeah. Hang on, look. I can do this. There he is. You see, he's desperately trying to be part of the. And now he's looking at me through the light ring. Excellent. Okay, so let's get back down to back down to business. That's enough show and tell of the lovely pretty cats, but. Cats are awesome, as are all pets, because of their therapeutic value, as far as I'm concerned. They're fantastic. Anyway, there's the white pillow gone down. And as you can see, there's hardly any bubbles, no bubbles. I think there's one was there, but no bubbles at all in the Glidden Premium white satin. So let's start with, uh, let's go light to dark, really, because that's usually a good idea, isn't it? Here we go. Brilliant, so let's uh, use, yes, okay. Well, dark to light. Yes, dark to light. Whoa, look at that big goober, that was horrible. I'm glad we didn't just drop that in the paint. <laughs> there we go. Excellent, so that's the purple. Now let's do the blue, let's just give it, this was the goober that fell out really conveniently. Okay, now uh, that's the majestic purple with a bit of the navy blue in. Now this is the cobalt blue, here we go. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Now let's go for the um, Tuscan red, a nice lovely red. So we've got some really lovely contrasting colours here in this little bloom. And when I was doing this, playing around this week, I was very dubious of uh, the outcome. And like I said, when I saw what, was, what we're just painting over, when I saw that the next morning, I'm like, holy moly, you don't say. And you see, it almost picked up the wrong one, didn't I, guys? I'm glad those at home would have seen that. I said, no, Frosty, you're picking up the wrong one. So that's our custom uh, mango colour with uh, the orange, pumpkin orange and a bit of the vivid yellow. I think it was vivid yellow. Now the last one, here we go. The, da, 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 the lovely sky blue. So how are things going in the chat, Vanna? Oh, very well. Chitty chat, chitty chat, chat. Mm -hmm. How many lovelies do we have in the live chat today? 36 according to Michael. Oh, wow, 36 of you. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Oh, that was the other thing I do, did want to say quickly. 38. It was... I'm having real trouble getting the viewing figures up um, for this show and for my videos and things like that. And I wondered if I could ask you guys a call to action to please um, subscribe if you're watching and you haven't subscribed already. But for those that have, um, please share my videos if you could in the different uh, fluid art groups that you may or may not be part of on Facebook. And I stress this only if you're allowed to do that and if you feel that my um, my 
videos have helped you, you can um, you could uh, you could uh, please share them with other people and uh, and get them out there because my subscriber numbers are down, um, uh, my um, uh, watch hours are down, everything is down. My figures are all down and. Um, I can only afford to give it so much time. So anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and uh, just ask you to please subscribe, my friends, and support me and give me that thumbs up. So I'm going to use the black. This is the straight uh, tricorn black, and we're going to use it to bloom. So there we go. Is B here? Oh, darling, sweetheart. So lovely to have you back, B. Oh, you see how it's already haloing like it would do if we were using the other group, uh, other, other uh, ingredients. So there we go. I did mean to say to you guys, you do get very thin cell, uh, very small cells from this. But as you can see, it has kind of bloomed. We have got cells there. Bingo, bingo. So we need to spin this one out while we just... Just gonna blow it out a little bit more, guys. So there we go. See, we're getting some nice cell action there. I'm just gonna blow the edges a little more. There you go, guys. I hope you can see that nicely and it's focused on it for you. Nicely focused, Vanna. Mm. Oh, okay, dokie. Okay. So, let's get this on the spinner and we'll just give it a minute. We might get the my little straw out. Here we go, got one. <laughs> Excuse me. It is quite pretty, isn't it, the colour palette? Thank you, Vanny, yeah. Okay, guys, we're just going to spin this out while we're waiting for that to happen. Oh, hang on. Let's, uh, first of all, need to... Oh, wow. Needs to centre it. <laughs> it is centred, yeah. There you go, guys. Now, I know it isn't holding the structure uh, perfectly um, from the blow, but that's got a lot to do with my blow too. But as you can see, getting nice and close. There you go. Oh, no, it's just bounced back. But there we go. You can see we've got some really nice cell action all around the edge, very little small ones, but it's a lovely, it's a, it's a pretty piece with a nice color palette, as we were just saying. But there you go. That's just using the tricorn black as it is out of the uh, out of the pot. So I'm going to see if we've got a lot more movement. Yeah, we do have a little bit more movement, so I'm going to give it another spin. And there you go. It's all bingo. There's how to blow, uh, <laughs> bloom on a budget with the dollar store paints, US flowchart and house paint as a cell activator. Now, I'm going to, I'm sorry if you really like this guys, but um, I was just gonna scrape it straight away and, uh, well, okay, no, no, no. I will leave it as it is because we want dried results for this next week, of course. So let me just wipe the edge. And then I'll give it to my lovely, darling, fantastic assistant, Vanna, who will take it to the paint drying area. Here you go. Oh, one second, guys. Last little look. Whoop, there you go. Quite pretty. So there you go. Now, da -da -da -da, let's just wipe all this out, because you know Frosty is a clean freak. Right, there we go. And you see we've got that chomp on our rag, the orange orange oil-based degreaser cleaner. And it just phew, eats through that paint that was on there. Yeah, like too sweet in a flash. So there we go. 
nice and clean. And we'll be at 1.39, 1.40. So thank you again, guys, for joining me. I really appreciate it. A big hello to everybody that hasn't, uh, that only just joined, that has may have only just joined us. Big hello to you guys, too. Oh, now, yeah, Vanna got up to take the art away. Here we go. Let's just move this over here. And then little Mr. Cheeky jumps straight in her seat. So... <laughs> He's a little so-and-so. We love our cat, we love our cat. So we're gonna do a swipe now, a double swipe. One side with the um, white Glidden Premium and the other side with the um, Amsterdam paint mixed with water. And again, apologies if I'm giving credit to the wrong people. I'm pretty sure it was Wombat that told me about it though. Literally just water and Amsterdam paint will work as a cell activator, but obviously not as well as the Wonder Rue Juice, uh, or whatever you want to call it, the Australian Flow Troll, that just, it, you know, there's really, I'm yet to see anybody come up with a, uh, with, with a more affordable alternative to it because it makes fantastic cell activators, uh, uh, as we all know, or a lot of us do know. So here you go. This was um, from the Halloween, um, my Halloween kind of bodged it a little bit, kind of um, transfer swipe that didn't work too well. So that's what we're painting over. Now let's put our colors down and let's put some pillow down. Putting our Glidden Premium again in white satin down. There we go. Nice generous amount because I like being generous. I'm too generous, to a fault. <laughs> so that's the pillow down. Now let's just, I always just tilt it from side to side to get it evenly over the canvas or the cradle, whichever one you're using. And also, I believe this is a better way because when you tip it back here like this, you're just getting a really nice even coverage of the paint over the cradle or the canvas or whatever we're using. Now I'm just going to uh, move out the edges, smooth out the edges rather, because we don't want those rings. Uh, but as this is a piece I've already poured on, um, the rings that you can get if you just leave the puddle uh, tend to happen on, I found, new canvases. If you're pouring over an old one that you've already poured on, I found it's less likely to um, do the ring thing when it dries, just leave the ring, the outline of the puddle. But either way, I just like to be safe and spread it out nicely so it's nice and even. So there we go, bingo. So let's do a nice, um, we're gonna use the white and the black, so let's put the colors down the middle and we'll swipe. Oh no, let's put all the colors on one side and we'll swipe right the way across. Half with the Amsterdam cell activator and half with the Glidden in white uh, satin as the cell activator. And I'm going to use this one because it works good. Okay, let's do the, should we do, no, let's do the reverse order. Let's do uh, light to dark because that's going to be fun. So let's do a nice pour in the middle. There we go. Oh, looked like there was a bit of a goober there at the end, but we'll catch that. Now we've got this lovely the mango. And then we've got the vibrant Tuscan red. And the cobalt blue. And then finally, the majestic purple, which we topped up with the, with the navy blue. Excellent, so there we go. Now let's get the swiping tool. And on half of it, this is the uh, Glidden. And I don't like using too much of a, even with these cell activators, I don't use a lot of them. Spread it out quite sparingly on the, swiping tool, or whatever you're going to use, because uh, too much and it will take a long time to sink. 
This is what led me to then add water to it to see if that improved it. But of course, no, 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 no. <laughs> that didn't improve it at all. That was really quite bad. So this is the Amsterdam uh, standard acrylic paint and just water. So da, 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 da. we just need to yeah get a bit of this off because there's too much. Right. He holds his breath. Oh, I've done it in the middle rather. <laughs> okay, so yes, well done. I was waffling too much and I didn't put it on one side to do that kind of swipe. So we're gonna put white and black on either side. So here we go. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. There we go. Oh, wow, look on the back of the knife. Beautiful. Sometimes the paint on the back of the swiping tool is so gorgeous. It's hard to, it's difficult to clean it off, but we've got to clean on a swiping tool every time, as we know. Now, I think we could do with the camera being a bit closer so you can see this. I hope that's better, Vanna, is that good? Always better closer. So there we go, guys. You can see the cell activators working really quite nicely. So let's get it back on here. And we'll do the same swipe the other way. And you see how the cells are quite small on the um, lamp black Amsterdam just with water. And the cells on the Glidden Premium are a bit slow to come up. But, oh, there we go, yes. There. there we go. But they're there, exactly. So this is how you can play around on a budget and have some fun and bloom on a budget because, you know, blooming is, uh, is, is one of the more difficult techniques and it requires, I always thought it required those ingredients <laughs> that I've been using all the time, but that's what led me to do this, uh, my thinking, is what led me to do this uh, video right now because it's like, well, okay, if we just get the consistencies to kind of mimic the ones from as we know what are ideal blooming consistencies, but with different paints, will it work? And as we know, yes, yes it will. So here we go, Let's get this side. There we go, it's not so good on the back this time, but still fun. Where, like, the black and white yes, where it's either side. Checkerboard, is cool. Checkerboard yes. Oh wow, we're getting some great, <laughs> Check out these little white haloed cells we're getting just there. That's pretty cool, I think, pretty cool. So I'm just gonna give it a, um, a quick torch, because if there are any air bubbles in it, we'll pop them and they'll pop out now and they might help some more cells to come together. But honestly, guys, look at the cells here. I just, they're pretty damn. Amazing, I like to think. I mean, look at that lovely, this little group here, this happy little group of cells. And a happy little frosty, because it worked nicely. Look at that. Anyway, so, quick drink, my friends. Are you gonna do some odds between the lines? Are you gonna leave it checkerboard? So, Vanna says, am I gonna do some modifications between the lines? No, I don't want to. I wanna leave this checkerboard, I feel. I like checkerboard. So, again, guys, as I always do, just wet the edges because we want the paint to come around over the edges when we rotate it, when we spin it. And paint moves over a wet surface far easier and far happier than a dry surface. So, anyway, there we go. Wow, these are really lovely. Okay, so we're gonna go in for the first spin. You can see how long and how fast I spin for, guys. I leave it just a little longer because if we can get off enough paint in one go, um, it's much easier uh, and it's better for the piece because if the more we spin it, the more it kind of distorts slightly and stretches. So if we can get all the paint off in one go so there isn't much movement, then it's really, you know, pretty good because we end up with, holy moly, look at that one. <laughs> I know I say it in my videos, guys, and you know what I'm about to say. I couldn't have been any, I couldn't be happier with how that one came out. So my friends, Let's just remember which one was which. These are the um, Glidden Premium in white satin, and these two are both the Amsterdam paint with a bit of water, and that's it. 
which is a really good cell activator. A really good cell activator. I mean, there we go. Look, guys, we're getting these lovely little coloured cells through the gliden. I think that's uh, quite a win, actually, but especially, you know, yeah, that one right there. <laughs> How to bloom with budget paints. How to bloom with frosty, <laughs> with your budget, uh, budget-friendly dollar store paints and US Floetrol. And I've just got to find, where did I put it? What are you I'm looking for my little, um, ah, where I left it. <laughs> my little um, palette knife here, just so I can fill in the edges of this a bit. But, yeah. It came out very nicely indeed, very happy. Let's just cover up these edges a little bit. A little bit of paint, so they're all nice and even. And of course, I haven't checked the uh, movement to see if it's still moving quite a lot, but... Well, it's moving a little bit. It's got a little bit of movement. Did you use the same amount of water in both of them? Uh, in both what? Banner. The Amsterdam and the Glidden. Note the Glidden is straight out of the pot, guys, and the Amsterdam is the only one I put some water with. So this is the Amsterdam with a little bit of water right there in the corner, and this is the uh, Glidden. Uh, and as you could see, the piece we just poured over, there was nice white lacing in the background. That's the Glidden as well, as long as uh, you do a nice swipe that way. But the only paint I put water in was the Amsterdam Standard Acrylic, this one. And like I said, still giving uh, Wombat um, dues for it, or cred for it, because I'm pretty damn sure it was Wombat, whose video I saw that told me about it. But anyway, apologies if it isn't, and sincere apologies to whomever it is in case they're watching, but, oh wow, we've got some really nice cells right over the edge, not stretching too badly. And over, where are we? Da -da -da -da. Over this side too, really quite pretty. Well, so I'm just gonna give it one more spin, guys. Da, 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 da. Yeah, some more paint came off. Well, I'm just gonna slow it down. And there we go, oh, brilliant. Yes, there was a lot more paint on there to come off. Oh my gosh, look at the cell structure over the edge. <gasps> oh, very, very happy, very, very excited about this one. So let's just uh, get this up. Let's get a rag to wipe the edges because you know, guys, we've always got to wipe the edges. And I'm just going to say it to you again, my friends. Anybody watching that hasn't subscribed, please subscribe. Please subscribe to my <laughs> channel. Uh, then you can, you know, like and thumbs up. You can comment on my videos. Let me know how I'm doing and if they were helpful for you. But uh, if you subscribe, you can also uh, participate in the live chat, which everyone is having such a good giggle in right now. So there we go, guys. Let's just move this one handed out of the way. Wombat well, suggested that you put a little water in the uh, white glidden paint as well to make it sell better. You reckon? There we go. Thank you very much, Wombat. He just says if we put a bit of water in the white paint, it might sell better. But yeah, Wombat, I tried that. Obviously, I must have put too much water in because it just didn't, it, it, it just was, yeah, really not very good at all. It didn't work very good. And we've definitely had better results with the straight uh, glidden. Um, I mean, i.e. the um, Halloween, uh, Halloween transfer swipe redemption. Uh, we were using the white glidden as a cell activator on the pillow before we did the red uh, fluid transfer. Uh, and it worked really well. Uh, I'm guessing that, uh, yes, it's just a little too thick maybe, or could definitely do with some water. But here we go, let's just get in on this one here. I'm just, I'm, I'm flabbergasted how well it actually worked, you know, but there you go, guys. So if you run out of Aussie Flow Troll, but you still got some Amsterdam paint, a little bit of water to some Amsterdam paint gets you this. But I love it how it didn't, it works. Maybe I put slightly more on this side now. I'm not sure, but yeah, there's probably less on here because when you swipe with less, you get uh, smaller cells. When you swipe with more, you get larger cells. But anyway, there you go, my friends. I'm chitty chatting. Just gonna wipe the edges again. Gosh, look at the cells over the edges. Just awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna give this to my darling assistant, Vanna. And Vanna can take it to the drying room. Just have one last look at it, friends. There you go. 
Worked really beautifully. So we're at 154. No, uh, 54. Here we are. Yes, 54, 44. I'm just looking at the uh, just looking at the time right now. So, my friends, we're going to finish a little bit early, as we always do, to give you guys time to go and have a, a, a get a snack, snack break, or maybe uh, use the washroom. And um, before we go on to the next station, which is uh, Nathan and the Fine Art of Distraction, followed by Venom, Venom Fluid Art, followed by Creations by Christy, followed by Shanby Fluid Designs, and our caboose today is Hippy Dippy Painter Man. Big shout out to Tony, big shout out to Cat too. Big shout out to our OG Beans, you know who you guys are. And shout out to all of you that are kind enough as to watch. And I'm gonna say it again, please subscribe and give us the thumbs up. The more thumbs up we get and the more likes we get, the more the video is likely to be uh, suggested by YouTube to people that haven't seen it. Now, I'm getting very dry again. So there we go, my friends. That is it. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been my pleasure hosting this show and doing some live art for you. I'm going to say it again. Please tell your friends and please uh, share the share the Sunday show uh, web links if you're allowed to do so in the other acrylic pouring groups you may be in on Facebook. But please, I'm asking everybody to spread the word. Let's help old Frosty and the Frosty Eye Candy. Uh, subscribers start to increase, watch hours start to increase, and uh, basically get those figures back up to where they're supposed to be. But thank you so much, my friends. I love you all, and above all, happy pouring.